Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our Arai Helmet Buying Guide for 2012. So in this video, I'm going to walk very quickly through the, the Arai line and give you a bit of brief history about the company if you're new to buying Arai. Each helmet I have on the table has its own specific video detailed breakdown on RevZilla.com where we talk about all of the features, all of the components, the fit, and what you should be thinking about when you're choosing each one. Now, Arai has a handful of helmets in this line. There are a few that are not listed here on the table, but these are really the road riding contingent helmets from Arai. For those of you that are new, Arai's been around for 50 years or more, actually over 50 years. Years. Each Arai helmet shell is made by hand. Arai uses some of the most specific techniques in the industry to exact a helmet at a very high safety standard. You know, Arai's famous line, Mr. Arai, it's family business, started three generations ago, said, we don't make motorcycle helmets, we make Arai's. And really, the way that you can look at this is there are some manufacturers out there that build to a price point. Arai builds to a safety spec, and then what you do is you go up the line, and as you invest more, the helmets become more technical, they become more specifically positioned for different types of riding. So diving right in here on the Vector 2, the Vector 2 is going to start, you know, for the end entry level Arai again, it's going to start around that $400 plus mark. So remember, this is an entry level helmet for Arai that blows most helmets that are the high-end helmets from a lot of other manufacturers out of the water. And what you're getting, the Vector 2, is an intermediate oval head shape that really should fit a lot of people. And the nice part about a lot of the new Arai's is there's adjustability there. So this is an example, this is the Vector 2's liner, and you can see the 3D construction of a liner. A liner like this comes with all of the different Arai models. But one of the cool things about the Vector 2, as well as the Signet Q, is that you have the 5 millimeter removable temple pads that come on these helmets specific to their shape. You can also see that they're made of a cool max type mesh that it, and, and a mixture of a very comfortable material. It's like a dry cool lining that will wick sweat away, will, will be antimicrobial, and allow you to have a lot of longevity here in the comfort liner. The other piece I want to talk to is the cheek pad system, and Arai uses what they call FCS, or facial contour system. This is a cheek pad out of a, an RXQ. You can notice a few things. One, it's a mixture of materials to, be, to hold up against your skin, to be comfortable, again, to wick. The second is, a lot of the Arise now are moving towards an emergency cheek pad release system. So if you're out cold, an EMT can get this helmet off or get the cheek pads out so it can stabilize your neck while they pull the helmet off. And then from a fit standpoint, as I break this down, you're going to see that there are die cut multiple layers of foams in different densities that allow you to, again, custom tailor the fit of the cheek pad. And that's actually come standard on all the new Arise. So that instead of buying a $50 new set of cheek pads, what you can do is you can tune this down to be a little bit larger depending on your facial construction or your cheek pads or your, your cheek area to be a bit more comfortable. So, CLC construction on the Vector 2, that's complex laminate, again, building to the Arai safety spec, lots of ventilation. It's meant really this helmet, if we look at the side profile, Snell 2010, DOT, meant to be worn in a myriad of riding positions. Don't think, based on the way the vents are, that you couldn't rock this in the upright or three-quarter or occasionally more aggressive. All the Arai's also are going to use the SEI face shield system, which is a new face shield from Arai. It's it's pretty damn near bulletproof, but I'm calling it bulletproof, they're not. And what it does is a lot of them have the eyelid vents that vent to s vent specific places within the shield. They're going to be changeable through this side pod mechanism, and we have a whole video that shows you how to do that. And the nice part is with the new SAI shield for going into 2012 and beyond, they've added five extra millimeters of viewport to this guy on each side. And you notice too, this one I have over here is a Signet Q. It comes pin lock ready, and it's the first SAI shield with an OEM pin lock fitment, and we'll get to that in a second. So you take the Vector 2 and you get more specific from there. What you do is you get a lighter helmet, you get a, you get a helmet that potentially has a little bit of an upgrade in the guts in some of the comfort features. The ventilation potentially improves. From there you go to the RXQ and you go to the Signet Q. Now the RXQ, when it came out a few years ago, is really a Corsair 5 for the street. And the Corsair 5, as you can see, is their race helmet. Super gnarly, super aggressive, super exotic. The, the RXQ is going to fit a little bit rounder. It's going to be more of an intermediate round fit. And again, you're going to get the, uh, the, the cheek pad adjustment and some of the different features. If we look at the side profile here on the RXQ, this is a helmet that is really an, a Corsair 5 for the street that's going to appeal to a lot of riders. You can see I have it in graphic. It comes in high vis It also comes in solids. The frost black is super, super popular. And then from there, 
the RX queue goes to the Signet queue, and the key difference is the Signet queue is actually five millimeters longer front to the back than the old profile was. And what that means, if we look at it from the top down, this is the longest oval array front to back. So if you're really narrow front to back, when we talk about head shape, the Signet queue is gonna be your best option. And it fits about a half size large, so keep that in mind. It also comes with a new SAI face shield that comes with a pin lock lens and a pin lock shield, so it's gonna be that recessed OEM fitment. It's a really, really nice touch. Also, the Signet Q is going to have the 5 millimeter removable temple pad, so you can adjust it. And again, a lot of the Arai's too, I haven't talked about it yet, but they'll have some type of rear diffusers, they'll have a lot of ventilation, a lot of Venturi vents along the back that are going to allow warm moist air to be pulled out and away from your head. Moving up in specificity, let's stick with the road. This is the Corsair 5. This is the helmet that racers wear, regardless of if Rai is giving them to them for free or not. It's the SNC construction, which is their most exotic shell materials. And again, multiple shell shapes. It's designed for weight. A medium in this helmet is three pounds, 7.6 ounces, dramatically, dramatically lightweight. This is a Nikki Hayden replica because Nikki wear Hayden wears a rye. You see a lot of the top pros in MotoGP and World Superbike, they've been wearing a rye forever. Again, it's been around for 50 years. And like they say, it's not a motorcycle helmet, it's a rye. It's built to a safety spec, adjustable rear wing. This is the most exotic, most dramatic in the Arai family, and it uses some of the most exotic and specific materials. By the way, this helmet is designed to be in this position at all times. If you're the average commuter or the sport bike rider on the street, Think about that. That's an $800 investment that's made specifically for racing. Now, as we float past that helmet, we move over here to the XD4. Arai has pioneered this type of helmet. This is a hybrid. Arai makes the VX Pro 3, which is their pro level off-road helmet. And what they've done is they've manufactured this helmet to be aerodynamic, to have an SAI style face shield that on the new XD4 has eyelets or wing winglets up there that are going to vent. And again, this is a helmet that you could wear on-road, off-road, dual sporting on a 12GS in an upright position, get the benefits of a dirt helmet with a lot of the benefits of a street helmet really in the crossover design. And Arai with their XD was the pioneer within that space. We have an Arai XC, we have different Arais that have an open face design. This is the XC Ram. There's also an XC helmet, different materials and similar configurations that they're using in a lot of the other helmets that make it to the open face. And the last Arai, which should be on your radar, which is the Arai that's, that everyone is talking about right now, is the Corsair 5 Race Carbon. This is a $4,000 helmet. It is 100%, every layer of this helmet is carbon fiber. It's seven and a half ounces lighter than the Course Air 5. It is not for show. This helmet is exotic, lightweight, is a Course Air 5 made by hand. It takes one of Arise Shell Masters, which there are only 10 in the world. They make 140 shells a day. They can make one race carbon a day. What you're getting is the most exotic helmet on the market that is the most lightweight helmet at this protection standard that is available in the free world today. So keep that in mind. These are made to order. We do sell them at Revzilla. We are happy to get you one. They come directly to, from Japan and they're made directly for you. So what you need to know about the Arai line, like I said, there's a video on each one of these helmets. It talks about fit, it talks about application, it talks about what you should be considering if you're really narrowing your search. If you need help, Everyone at Revzilla knows this Arai line inside and out. See us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. We certainly want to hear your feedback on the Arai line, whether you're an Arai fanboy like I am that's been wearing them forever, or you're new to getting or getting used to the Arai line, leave us your feedback on Facebook, on Revzilla TV, on our YouTube channel. You can subscribe to us on Revzilla TV and stay up to date with all the new videos that we're producing each week. And as always, by continuing to buy from Revzilla, at 39 bucks, we ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fees, um, and any order over 100 bucks, which basically every Arai is always going to tip over that $100 mark, you're going to earn teams of cash to be applied to your next order. It's our way of saving you some money in the long run. Thank you for watching our Arai buying guide for 2012, our brand model overview. We hope you find the right Arai that suits your needs. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.